Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, it's your boy Mad Skills. How y'all doing? All right, what's up? My name's Willie Jefferson. I write about video games for the video game blog, Houston Gamer. So I've been writing about video games ever since 2006. So what do I do? I write about items, companies, PR firms, developers, publishers, and the like. Send me for review. Now, this is actually the day that you've been waiting for. I know I've received several messages and comments asking hey skills you know like when are you going to review the turtle beach stealth pros you know the playstation version the xbox version and look guess what you know what today is right 420 you know what 420 means right means 420 a.m or p.m right so so here's the deal all right now the funny thing is Okay, so this is the Xbox version. This is the one that plays pretty much on every modern system. It plays on Xbox Ones and as well as the Xbox Series consoles. And also plays on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5s. And plays on PC and Nintendo Switch. So, and this, like I said, this one is the second one. I've had about two weeks to play around with this one. And then the other one is the PlayStation exclusive version. Now, this also works well with PC as well as with the Nintendo Switch. So these are the Stealth Pros. So in these retail for $329, you'll be able to actually pick one of these up either for the PlayStation branded because it actually the transmitter has a blue LED around it or you can pick up the Xbox version so here's the deal it's $329 and this is definitely not an impulse buy so the question that you need to be asking yourself is is this going to work for my gaming setup first of all both of them are extremely comfortable they're pretty much the same except for the Xbox version also plays, you know, with the PlayStation. And the PlayStation version only plays, as far as gaming consoles, it plays with the PlayStation 4 and 5 consoles, as well as the Nintendo Switch and a well-configured PC. But it does not play with Xbox One and Xbox Series consoles. So this, the Xbox version, is the only one that plays with both of them so that's one thing to consider and some people i know in the comments have said well you know what it doesn't really matter i mean because hey i'm gonna get the xbox version because it plays everything but guess what total beach was smart enough to understand okay look you know what we're gonna market both of these all right because here's the thing some playstation players they love black and blue and to have a green LED, uh, I don't think so. So they made two SKUs. And guess what? I guarantee you both SKUs are going to sell like gangbusters, literally. First thing I have to say as far as this review, the build quality is exactly the same. Matter of fact, <laughs> the funny thing is that when I was setting up for the review, I had both of the headsets in my, in my bedroom. And I actually forgot, and I mixed up which is which. So what I did was both of them are synced to my iPhone. Well, I actually turned um, the Xbox version on, and it came right up. And I was like, okay, cool. So that's how I know. So I have them on these boxes for my identification. And if you decide to buy two sets of them, I'd recommend you like label one of them one or two or whatever you want to do. Tom and Jerry, Craig and Smokey. I mean, you can do that. So... The first one I'm going to tackle is the PlayStation version of the headset. So, I know I had questions about sound quality, all that stuff. So, I'm going to get to all of this. And pretty much everything that I say for the PlayStation version also is equal to the Xbox version of this Stealth Pro headset. So, the first thing that you're going to notice is that it's very sturdy. See that? All right. So yeah, very sturdy. 
Um, the top part of this is a hard plastic, just like I said in my unboxing videos. This right here is leather, leather it, has, feels like memory foam on top. On the sides right here, this is plastic. Now this right here is this metal piece. It actually, it feels a little bit sharp. So I need, you probably need to be very careful if you pick these up or you have smaller children or tweens that may get this and they may end up cutting their finger or hand. So that could be a little bit dangerous. The microphone works great. And actually, if you see right here, right here, there's actually two microphones, okay, built in. So you don't necessarily have to use the boom mic, but if you do use both of the, the microphones on the headset, actually, what's gonna end up happening is, it's gonna give you some sound, but it's not gonna give you the same as having the boom mic. So, and the other thing is, as far as sound, what you need to do is, you need to connect this to a smartphone. You have to download the Turtle Beach app, and then once you download that, you'll be able to configure the headset. And it'll actually give you a little walkthrough about what it can do and everything. You can configure the mic. Everything is completely customizable. They also have super sound if you want to have that enabled, superhuman sound. And like as far as the microphone, the internal ones right here, you can actually disable those. So what do you do to disable them is you hold down the superhuman hearing button and it that is actually right so like right there you hold that down for two seconds and it will actually say microphone off this right here is the power button and then this right here enables bluetooth and that's it so and then as far as the volume you're just going to go right here and adjust it it actually gets pretty loud but as well it also depends on your source and smart volume on your phone so that's now as far as the fit the fit feels really good so like i said you've seen me do this already and like i said as far as the fit it 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 feels very very good now the air cups are actually replaceable you can take these off I'm not going to do this on camera, but you can look at YouTube videos and they'll show people actually taking these off. If they get worn out, you can replace them. So that's good. And then, of course, you can see, I don't know if, you can, if this is picking up on camera or not, but you can actually see the headphone drivers right there. And this one is actually for the the right, right side. And then these are the drivers for the left. So and sound quality is absolutely excellent. Turtle Beach sent me the Stealth 600 Gen 2s as well as the Stealth 700 Gen 2 Max headphones to review. Their sound quality was excellent, but the cool thing is I actually got a chance to do both of these side by side and the results were just night and day, literally. The cool thing is that both headsets sound excellent. However, with the app, it actually, with the Stealth 700 Gen 2 Max headsets, you are very limited and you'll notice it because when I configured both headsets, it was very intuitive. I mean, extremely exhausted. Now you can do the simple method, but if you hit advanced controls, then you'll be able to manipulate everything i mean they have a have a i want to say nine band equalizer and then that's really cool because the bases can get really deep and it's with the just default settings even with bass boost it's not going to be necessarily that deep how bass was like on my total beach px5s that they sent me for review way back when but these right here absolutely rock so and for $329, I mean, they had to bring the noise with it because if not, gamers would be like, man, I'm not going to pay this much because you have so many other options out. I mean, I was able to watch videos. I watched just from what, whatculture.com video 
And it was really cool because I could actually hear objects in the background humming. Like, for instance, I believe it was a mini fridge or something, maybe her fridge, but it was humming in the background and I could actually hear that. Now, be it is it because of when I was blind, I had superhuman hearing or because of the hearing on this, who knows? Now, a really cool feature on both headsets is the active noise canceling. Now, don't get me wrong, all right? The noise canceling on these is, is decent. I mean, could it be better? Absolutely. Now, the active noise canceling is decent. It's not going to be like a set of Bose Quiet Comfort headsets. Those things, I've actually, I remember I was on an airplane with this guy. He had a set with his Nomad Jukebox 3. And what he did was he allowed me to check it out. He said, all right, now check this out. I'm going no noise canceling. And as soon as he hit that button, I didn't hear anything except for the music. That's some awesome noise canceling. This one, that would be a 10 in my book. The noise canceling on this, I would give it like a four and a half, maybe five. I mean, it does the job of noise canceling. It will quiet down the neighbors or traffic on the street if you're in your room. But it's not going to just, like when you put these on and I do like that, that's my, that is actually my t sound test to see if headphones can pick up a snap and I do it like this or do it about a foot and a half away. And with that, I could actually hear the snap. So, but hey, you're not buying this for noise canceling. You're buying this, to see if it works with your particular setup. And that's another thing to consider. For instance, if you're never gonna buy an Xbox or Xbox One or Xbox Series 2, anything like that, if you're never gonna buy it, then spending $329 for the PlayStation version, that's okay. Because you know, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to be happy with this. And this is going to last a while. It has Bluetooth 5.1 on it as well. And it's just magnificent. I mean, it is really impressive. I mean, and you compare it. If you have the Stealth 700 Gen 2 Max, if you have that headset and you compare it to this, you'll be like, wow, it is a huge difference. And if you're a music aficionado, then yes, this is going to be great, as well as playing it via video games. I actually played it on Mass Effect, original Mass Effect, and also Mass Effect 2 with Legendary Editions. And they pick up absolutely everything. The bass response was great, which you can manipulate. Or if you want a vocal boost, it offers that as well. And you can do all that through the app. Now, as far as updating it, the only issue is you need to actually hook this up to a PC or Mac and be able to download the update. I'm actually going to do a review. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a review as far as the headset and as far as sound quality and everything, because I can actually do a head-to-head -head with both of these you know, headsets, and that's going to be pretty cool. I actually have a piece of foam that I'm going to put over it, and I'm going to put some actual headphones in there that are hooked up probably to my iPad. And then I'm going to record and just let y'all hear the sound quality. But as my Turtle Beach rep told me, they're exactly the same except for that one feature, that the PlayStation doesn't have Xbox capability. So there you go. So would I buy this? Honestly, for the setup I have, for having a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro. The PlayStation 4 actually has my name on it, madskills.com, which is awesome. And also, I have an Xbox One OG sent by Microsoft, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, and an Xbox Series X. This, the Xbox version, definitely, definitely, definitely checks all the boxes. It's great sound quality. Like, if I'm on the go, if I'm on a trip or I'm just out and about and it's very non-discreet. It does not look like a 
a gamer headset, you know, with the boom mic just hanging out like this saying, what's up? It does not look like that. So very, very cool. And like I said, I actually enjoy it. So like I said, honestly, both of these are pretty much the same. The only difference is the PlayStation version, one right here, only works with PlayStation consoles as far as gaming and Nintendo Switch as well as PC. With the Xbox version, the ones I'm holding here, they play on Xbox One, Xbox Series consoles, as well as PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 consoles, as well as Nintendo Switch and PC. Both of them, if they fit your setup, then go for it. And I enjoyed my time with them. With the PlayStation version, I spent three weeks. With the Xbox version, I spent two weeks with them. The transmitter is great. Um, it'll give you, I wouldn't like try to go a really long distance away, maybe like 50 feet away. And then it'll start get, it may start getting a little bit chopped. Having two batteries with your headsets, your Stealth Pro headsets is excellent. Blessing the batteries have a long life. So, and what's cool is one is always charging, waiting. And actually with the transmitter, you could actually even do like what I did and just charge, unplug the transmitter from the consoles and then just use them when I was out and about, hook it up to the car, to the USB outlets, as well as any other place. You know, I would just bring a small little brick and then plug the USB-A part you know, into the charger and then plug that into a wall and you got juice. Out of 10, I give these a 9.5. They're really that good. So is it perfect? Noise canceling leaves something to be desired. Turtle Beach may release a firmware update that actually enhances the noise canceling, which is a great benefit for me because honestly, I was really, really close to buying a Bose headset just because I know how good they are. But this is great for gaming, so you cannot go wrong. Anyway, it's your boy Skills. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I just wanted to thank Turtle Beach so much for sending both the PlayStation version and the Xbox version of their soon-to-be-released Stealth Pro headsets. for review. So actually, so this is 420 today. So these actually drop in three days. So if you're interested in these, I'll actually leave an Amazon link below and you can pick these up for $329. I know it's an Xbox Series S, but it is well worth it because they're so versatile. You can use them not only with your gaming setup, but you can sync your Bluetooth button and sync it to your smartphone, as well as chatting with your friends and then take calls with it, which to me, even with the Stealth 700 Gen 2 Max headsets, those are, I mean, that is a killer feature and it still holds up with this. Sound quality is excellent. Sound reproduction, the bass, the treble, the mids, everything sounds great. You can customize it. So yeah, you cannot go wrong with this. So thank you so much, Turtle Beach, for sending this for review. So look, I'm actually going to do a giveaway, all right? I'm going to do a giveaway on the PlayStation version, these that I have right here, all right? So what do you have to do, okay? You have to subscribe to this channel. You also have to like my Facebook fan page, as well as... Instagram, follow me on Instagram, and TikTok. So I know that's four things. And of course, comment and subscribe here. So these are going to one lucky winner. So whoever it is, hey, you're really going to enjoy these. All right, so anyway, it's your boy Skills. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.